Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and what we have for you today is the JBL Cinema SB450. Now this is a sound bar that uh, is for those of you that probably have a 4K TV and are looking up to spruce up the sound. But is it really worth it? Well, that's what we're about to find out. Speaking of the build, the soundbar is extremely well built. It has a grille covering the front protecting the drivers. Uh, the front is clean, simple and black in color with the JBL logo bang in the center. There are no LEDs in the front to show you the source or input and that's okay as for some the LED indicators may be distracting. I personally prefer it. The soundbar also has two legs which work as a stand. The height of these legs is adjustable and that is a very good addition for those that don't want the soundbar to lie flat on the table. All the connectivity options are hidden at the back of the soundbar. You have three HDMI inputs along with the HDMI arc port conveniently tucked away in one corner, whereas the aux input, optical input and power supply are in the other corner. In the center, you have the USB port, subwoofer pairing button and a wall mount uh, tabletop placement toggle. All in all, the soundbar itself is well built with a dominating presence, giving you the impression that it means business. When it comes to physical controls, you have all of them at the top of the soundbar. The buttons are small and I wish they were a little bigger. Coming to the subwoofer, it is huge. One look at the sub and you know that it is going to bring the roof down. The subwoofer is wireless which means that there is no physical connection between the soundbar and the subwoofer. It connects wirelessly when both the soundbar and the subwoofer are plugged in and powered on. There is a white light behind the subwoofer which blinks when it is finding uh, the connection and it is solid white when the connection is established. When the light is orange, it means that it is looking for the soundbar. The rear of the subwoofer has the power button, face toggle and a crossover knob. Now, a great thing about the soundbar, especially for those of you that have a 4K TV, is that the HDMI inputs, the three inputs that are there in this soundbar are HDMI 2.0 with support for HDCP 2.2, which means if you have a 4K HDR enabled device like an Apple TV 4K, a PlayStation 4 Pro, an Xbox One X, or any other device that has 4K HDR and you don't want to connect it to the back of your TV or you have a fewer set of options at the back of your TV, you actually have three sources right at the back of the soundbar, which is brilliant you have three more hdmi inputs for the compromise of one which connects via the arc to the tv so that in this case is brilliant now coming to the remote control it is made of plastic and doesn't have the same premium feel found on the soundbar considering the premium build of the soundbar it feels cheap and plasticky it has all the same controls found on the soundbar with the addition of mute bass control hdmi source select harm and volume and feedback. The remote is small and light and looks like something you will lose easily. Now, when it comes to performance, this is one area where the SB450 is actually pretty good. I mean, the subwoofer really means business. So if you are going to play a lot of action games on your consoles connected to the TV, if you are going to watch blockbuster movies from John Wick to Star Wars to literally anything under the sun that has action, uh, the subwoofer is really, really going to immerse you in it. I mean, at 60 to 70 percent volume, I was shaking my entire house. Well, of course, not literally, but the sound was just everywhere. So that was great. Even the soundbar itself produces sounds clearly. It's rich. If you're going to watch uh, TV shows or news, you are going to hear the vocals really well. Shows like Young Sheldon, Big Bang Theory, anything, uh, Seinfeld, anything that has a lot of conversations, it's going to be clear. Anything that has a lot of action, it's going to be loud, thumpy and in your face, be it gaming or movies. But there is one thing to consider, and this is something that happened really often. Um, let's say a fight sequence in John Wick, which is around the church where there was a lot of action that was happening and there was conversation in the middle the vocals really get drowned out at such times especially when there's a background score there's guns there's a lot happening at these times i really had to fiddle around with the remote to get the volume up to hear the dialogues and then immediately bring it back down because uh, the overpowering sound of all the action and things happening all around started overpowering uh, started getting really loud after a point in time so the vocals during certain high octave action sequences and movies does get a little bit muddled and if this wasn't the case this would actually be a pretty perfect soundbar to buy however considering its price point considering the features on offer considering the 4k hdr pass through that you're getting if you're if you are someone that has let's say the new me tv uh, the 4k one and you want a great sound and you are looking for something like this it makes sense if you have any budget 4K TV or a 4K HDR TV and you want to improve the sound, again, it makes sense because it will connect through HDMI ARC and it will give you the option of three additional HDMI inputs conveniently located. And of course, the subwoofer is wireless, so that also has the added benefit. Uh, when it comes to music, however, 
if you are an audiophile you will of course be better off with a music specific uh, studio monitors however if you are going to listen to rock music or something that has a lot of bass like let's say poets of the fall or even some uh, avicii or daft punk it actually did sound pretty good from this uh, sound bar but uh, then again if you are going to be listening to something that's a little more classical uh, you may want to use your own system or consider bookshelves or uh, something that's more specifically tuned for music but yeah for most popular stuff you can get by on the soundbar as well so there you have it guys that was our review of the JBL SB450 you can always let us know what you thought of this review in the comment section below and for more videos like this one you can subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for the updates we will catch you in another video it's goodbye for now